I gotta take a break. Come on. You got this. Breathe. Come on. Breathe. Just pull. Hi, welcome to Demolition Ranch. Glad that you're here. Different kind of episode for you today, um, but still similar. I've always wanted to build a technical. For those who don't know what a technical is, it's basically used in less developed militaries, you know, less, less well-funded militaries and small militias. They get a machine gun, a lot of times the same kind of machine guns that are in the more funded militaries, but they don't have a Humvee or a tank to put it on. And so they put it on a small truck, like a Toyota or a Mazda or something. We don't have a Toyota, so we're gonna put it on top of this Chevy, 1964 Chevy Impala Lowrider. Uh, it's got Matt, there's, sorry to interrupt. Uh, there's two Toyotas right there. Oh, yeah, let's go take a look at those. This is my 1981 Toyota pickup truck. It's great, 454, it's a classic. This is the long bed, and it's, it's amazing. This is my 1983 Toyota pickup truck. It's got a short bed, it's got a little bit more lift, some bigger tires. It's a classic, and it's amazing. So this is actually mine. This is actually one that Roman Atwood just bought me that we're gonna give away. I'll tell you more about that later. This actually could be one of yours very soon. But we have to make a technical. So we have this truck, great. This truck, great. Now we just need this machine gun. This is a Madus, so we can make one technical. And then this machine gun. Oh, no, we, okay, we only have one Madu, so we're only gonna make one technical today. But technically, um, we gotta change something first to make a technical, technical, technical. Technically, we're gonna make a technical. I've been trying to figure out how to make a mount. So they, they usually have like big tripod or just, I don't know, big contraptions here that mount them in the back. So you stand up here and you can shoot over the truck or off to the side. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And it looks epic. Just a big machine gun over the roof of the truck like this. Now I was trying to figure out which one of these I actually wanted to make a technical. This one has a sunroof. Y'all's truck has a sunroof. Probably not great for the glass to have 50 cal going off right here. The other one's got a solid roof. So what I decided is I think we need to take this roll bar because that would make a very handy mount. I won't have to build a big tripod or any weird contraption. Just take this thing, build a little thing off here, set the machine gun in, it'd be great. So I'm gonna steal this, sorry Roman, love ya, and move it over to this one. You guys wanna help me? Appreciate it. I'll just uh, duct tape this in and uh, set the machine gun on it. We're good to go. Yeah. Okay, hear me out. Here's what I'm thinking. We just leave it on these plastic drawers so then you have room for your ammo. Like you have all the ammo right here. Um, you just pull it out, reload, and like it's a little a little wobbly, but it's fine. Just kidding. We were just, I was mocking it up trying to figure out how high it should go, where it should go. So I, I like this. So these things, they actually mount to their tripods and to the other things with this little thing right here that you can't see because it's buried. With this thing right here. So my plan is to take these lights off, get them out of the way, and then there's this bar and this bar. I'm gonna build a little, some sort of stand from them that goes up to a center platform about right here. So there's gonna be a platform about seven inches above this roll bar here, and there'll be a hole in it, this thing will slip right in. And then we gotta figure out some way to clip it in like the mount does. So that's the plan. It's time to fabricate a platform. Go.
here's what I'm thinking for the top plate. So I'm gonna cut this eventually, but first I'm just gonna try to drill a hole. This is some thick metal. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut this thing so it's a nice square, and then we'll make some legs and go to work. Perfect, cute little thing I just made. Now I just gotta make some legs. And here she is. I love it. I love everything about it. We got a little pin here so it can't fall out. It's good. I'm gonna clean it up now, paint it, and then Roman should be here shortly. And we're gonna see how it functions. Giddy up, partners. Oh, hey guys. Oh, hey Roman. What's up? Not much, how's life? Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I made a, I made a mount for the Madus. <laughs> Thanks for bringing the truck. Yes, sir. So you want to tell me why you did this? I will. What's happening? So right now, two families are coming together. We got the Demolisha and the Smallmore families coming together That's as a big one. Deal. We have a truck to give away to one of those family members. Yeah. That's this 1983 Toyota pickup. Look at this. Come here. Four this by up. four. Lifted. Short bed. Nice tires. Army green. It is pretty sick. It's got our official collab logo on the side. When Roman, Roman shipped this to my house, and I was like, I kind of like it more. It's more Demo Ranch than mine is. And it's got the short bed, which is even cooler. It's sweet. But uh, we're giving it to y'all. One of you guys, we want one of y'all to be able to make your very own technical at home. <laughs> which you should totally do if you I get this. I'm not, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> sure about that. So we have some shirts. Uh, I'll link them all in the description below. And we're just doing a, a giveaway. So anyone who buys one of these shirts, every shirt you buy, you get one more entry into winning this truck. It's a ticket. A shirt's it's a, ticket. a ticket, basically. Yep. And if you decide you would rather have cash, if you maybe live in a place where we can't ship this truck or something, we will give you the option to pick the truck or $15,000. So whichever one you want, you we win. will not be heartbroken if you pick the cash because then we'll, we'll just make we'll another just technical. We'll have two technicals. <laughs> so we are, uh, yeah, doing that. And we're about to rip this thing and see if uh, my mount holds up, which it, it might not. It will. You haven't ever have you shot this. a 50 cal? Not like this. You haven't shot a Madus. I know you no. own a Barrett, but you haven't ever shot a Madus. No. Only in the movies have I seen these things. It's going to be good. We, we got her loaded up. We got some tracer rounds in there. Things I'm worried about. Let's go over some precautions. Um, for one, I didn't realize, this is the first time we've actually loaded it. The ammo does kind of catch on my mount, so our, uh, our B gunner is going to have to be feeding ammo in. Um, so that's, this. that's not a problem, I don't think. Uh, I am worried about this mount because it was very poorly constructed with some scrap metal I found. But I think it will work and not break. If it does, I'm just going to try to hold on to this thing so it doesn't go flying. Um, I'm also worried about the windshield. If you look where I'm going to be pointing, we're, we're blowing up the end of this barrel a foot from our 40-year-old windshield. Yeah, that's brittle glass. I think it's going to be fine. Roman, you, you're betting it breaks, right? I'm, I'm going to go with it just so we have a different bet. I think yeah. it's going to be fine because this doesn't have a muzzle brake, so like most of the energy is going that way, but I mean, it still does shoot a bunch of energy out the side. But I think it's fine. Glass is super strong. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. I think everything will be great. Oh, also, I'm worried about this 40-year-old suspension <laughs> with this 50 cal rock in it. And like, oh. I know like in the old military Jeeps, if you turned them sideways and fired them, you would knock them over because they had such a narrow wheelbase and you have a full auto pushing sideways, you could knock over a Jeep pretty easily. All your weight's on this side and it's pushing this way. We're shooting kind of forward, should be fine. Oh, another thing I'm worried about, Shoot, <laughs> shooting the hood. <laughs> As long as I don't point down too far, I think it would. I think it would just barely nick it. Just, it as long as all the five of those things don't happen, easy day. Easy. Test one. <laughs> Should have made a much more solid mount. All right, I think we're ready. I'm just gonna do a couple little short shots first. Ready? Yep. That was high. Okay. Oh, I got it, dude. All right, let's see. Oh. Ah. I caught oh. All right, you gotta got try this thing. Oh my god. This is gosh. the best thing I've ever done. What's on fire down there? Oh, yeah, it. All right, let's
can I just say, our windshield, not broken. Amazing. We're solid on that. All right. Pretty delicate. Yeah. This is Roman's uh, first time with the Modus. Giddy up, partner. First timer here. Hold on tight. so much popping it is not this this is not a great mount all right what else should i do just run a couple yeah rip it why is it bouncing so hard because i made the mount <laughs> i didn't feel like it was bouncing for you no it was you weren't watching <laughs> Woo! yeah buddy all right hey just hold her down send it Oh, my classic Toyota is just getting the roof all scratched up. Here, you want to run that? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Alright, let's just finish it out. Ah, I think the jumping is screwed up. I think we're done. I've determined my mount is terrible. <laughs> it's not terrible, it performed. It did for a while and I think it's getting, like it was already a little loose. The mount that it actually fits in is like totally snug. The real one, this is a plate that I cut a hole in and it's just bouncing around. And I think it's wallering out too. All the bathroom bad guys are gone. I mean, they're, they're gone. They're a pile of scrap. We should actually go check them out. We got to. And then we might need to work on this mount. It's like having control of your own thunder. <laughs> it's awesome. There's shells in the truck because the back window's open. Also, windshield totally not broken, guys. So I was right about that. <laughs> this weather out here, man, it's just raining links. Guys, we're at the. Uh, the site where the terrorists were. They had no chance. The terrorist zombies. Mm -hmm. Zombie terrorist. And we successfully destroyed their base with our new technical. And it's a shame they were just on the pot at the time that we attacked. Yeah, yeah, you gotta catch them with their, their pants down, literally and figuratively. <laughs> oh, muddy. Oh, I hope that wasn't what I think it was in the pot. The only thing I don't, I mean, I love the technical, but I technically think we need a better mount. So I had an idea. What's your idea, bro? Just had an idea. What's your idea? What if we mounted the Madus to the golf cart? Like, think about it. The technicals are cool because they're small. You can get in and out of places. Yeah, they gotta be. This thing's even smaller and totally silent. We could, could mount, sneak up, mount it, sneak up. You get in the smallest. You can get someone's backyard with a technical golf cart. And you had me at golf cart. All right. We're gonna, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna mount it up. This will be totally not sketchy like the last mount. Yeah, because this is just feels more durable. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. That looks very secure. Yeah, that, that should do. Perfect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> the 
the warmth wow. that melted it. Look at that. Dude. Look at the barrel though. Yeah, there's still mirage you coming know, off this thing. Duct tape on the gloves. Oh, look, it's stuck to the barrel. That's my, my old machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, this actually feels... That might be better boom, than boom, the truck. Boom, 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 boom. This thing's never gonna cycle. Oh, we need that pin. This plastic's at least, at least an eighth of an inch thick. It's pathetic. That, that's what's holding the 50 cal mod deuce in. You know, it'll, it'll this be This is about survival though. Yeah, you do what you gotta do to survive the apocalypse. That's right. Okay, you ready? Yeah, also normally when you have it in a mount, you lean back against it to rack it, but this one you have to like hold the gun and like it's, he's basically off-handing this thing. It's, this, it's, it's about my maximum pull strength. This golf, cart, this golf cart's sick though, like for real. This is, this is the best golf cart I you've ever seen. I think they should come like this. Yeah. You know? All right, you ready? I guess. Let's Lock see. Lock and load. Hold on tight to it just in case it goes bloop. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it's not gonna cycle. Uh oh. Like, this is the ultimate limp wristing. It won't. It won't cycle at all now. This is awesome. about all. You wanna give it a try? Yeah, awesome single shot 50 cal. <laughs> Got it. No, lean into it. Nope. The it feels safer with single shot. <laughs> the gun is moving back like six inches. Come right here from the side. Watch this thing recoil. <laughs> Just the whole top is doing this. So it's not coming back enough to totally load that next round in. Oh, that one actually might have worked. Nope. Not Not happening. It's all she wrote. Not happening. And we are blasting. There's like a big blast mark on the end of that roof up there. <laughs> it's like black. Because <laughs> I'm firing right here. As long as you're an advanced sniper, you can get it done with one shot. But Dang it. I really thought this was going to work. I thought the golf cart was going to be the way to do it. I, I, think, I think it was a success. Really. I think it was successful. I think you did about as much as you'd want to do on a golf cart in a 50 cal. We're going to have to step up our mount game on that Yoda, I think. I think it's a great starting point, though. Yeah, we should get some practice laps in with the Yoda, though. Uh, just like in case, you know, you want to you train. Got to be prepared. Just in case something bad yeah. does happen. So you want to go rip it? Let's rip it, dude. <laughs> Let's rip it. <laughs> That was sick! Hey! Hey, you lost me on that, oh. that small hill, dude! I thought, I took that turn <gasps> kind of hard. I'll be honest, it was fun though. <gasps> hey, good job. Thanks. I feel I feel well trained. You did good. Like, the demolition is getting stronger and stronger every day. Now, holding on to that thing is a piece of cake. <laughs> uh, also, we ordered a real mount. So that little homemade thing is gonna get chopped off and we have a real mount on the way. So I'll have a real technical very soon. And, speaking of, if you guys want a real technical very soon, we got this beauty God, and it's, it's waiting for dude. you. It's waiting for you. This is one of our shirts. We also have a Demolition shirt and a Smile More shirt, all linked in the description below. Yeah, and this one's so sick because it's got the oh, bunker yeah. branding. Sure, close. And the Smile More collab with the army helmets, the bullets, the smiley face. Pretty sick. Yeah, dude. So get you, get you one of these. And every order is another entry. So every shirt Ooh. you get is another entry entry go check out roman atwood thanks for coming by hey guys and thanks. roman just joined bunker branding we got big things on the horizon <sighs> two families one big family it's yeah. gonna be good it's gonna awesome. be good I'm so pumped thank thanks you guys you're welcome <laughs> 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 thank you guys so much for watching this episode of demolition ranch i love you
and I'll see you next time. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> it's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.